Marcus from Ideal Stencils and today we are in my daughter's bedroom and we are going to be decorating this chimney breast behind me. She's absolutely crazy about the magical world of rainbows and so we're going to be using our um, rainbows and rain clouds decor stencil. Um, this is going to be really simple to use, uh, you just line it up by eye and you just move it across and move it down and repeat it across the area to create a really great wallpaper effect pattern. So let's get on with it. So I've come to the end of my first row of repeats. There's a bit of space here that I'll fill in at the end. I just wanted to show you that when you move your stencil down to the next row, if you move it straight down vertically, you're going to end up with a rainbow next to a rainbow and a rain cloud with a rain cloud. So that the pattern alternates, I'm going to move the stencil across one to ensure that we get the pattern that we want. When you're stenciling with a paint roller, don't apply too much pressure, just uh, gradually go over your stencil with increasing pressure as um, the paint starts to offload itself from your roller. side of the fireplace and position my stencil um, I'm going to carry on down to the bottom as far as I can go and then there's going to be some awkward um, bits to do there's going to be down the side here and across the top and also the side of the wall that I mentioned earlier and so to do that I think I'm going to cut my stencil up into a way that suits me so I can work with the stencil to get into these more awkward areas down to the bottom now, to the skirting board. I've taped the stencil in position. Now to get into the bottom bit along the skirting board, I've just put a bit of tape here so you don't get any paint on the skirting board. And I'm just going to use a brush, or I'm going to use the roller first, and I'm going to roll down as far as what I can get with the roller, and then finish off using the stencil brush. some paint on the stencil brush. So just as important as like with your roller that you don't have too much paint on your brush. So I've cut my stencil because I've decided that that is the easiest way to go along the top of the mantelpiece. project completed and I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's only took a couple of hours and it's amazing what you can do just with one stencil and a little bit of paint. Not only was it cost effective but also it's completely unique and nobody is going to have a feature wall like this. I really enjoyed doing it and my daughter is going to love it. We used our medium sized rainbows and rain clouds pattern stencil to complete this project. Thanks for watching.